sunny 30th of March in Stockholm. Most of the people are sitting at home. I do the same most of the time. Today I went to the city to film for a German uh, TV channel and I decided to film a couple of videos for you as well. And this video is gonna be about this bridge. This golden bridge that, uh, as it's called, the Guldbrun in Swedish. That's really important for this city and I'll explain you why. Look, this construction site that is between the old town this this part of the town you see with the black roofs and the spires of the church it's the old town and i'm on the island of Södermalm that's the southern island today we call it the bohemian island the hipster island but it's a young and creative part of the city and it's also an island so to connect them we usually have a bridge and approximately once in 100 years we have to change this construction because it becomes outdated and the construction is not strong enough so now we have this enormous construction site and it's not just the bridge it's also the sea locks underneath the bridge so we can control the water level between the lake that you see on that side of the construction do you see the water of there and this water is that is the Baltic Sea and the water level is much lower here so in order for the boats to pass under the bridge we have to have the sea locks the original sea locks are from the 17th century and these ones the one we're building right now it will be the fifth sea locks in Stockholm history now this bridge was ordered in China. It came all the way with a huge cargo boat and we could follow it online. I personally followed it on uh, vesselfinder.com and I really prayed that I would arrive when I'm in Stockholm, but I was uh, in Israel, so I couldn't actually watch it live, but I watched it uh, online because the national Swedish television had a live streaming. It was delivered in one piece and colored in this gold um, or yellow color. It's just the first layer. It will be much more golden. The surface will not be yellow. It will be covered by asphalt. It will be covered by uh, concrete and the granite, depending on the needs of the surface. The pedestrians will go on the granite. The cyclists will go on the concrete and the cars will go on the asphalt so it it it, it will it, it won't look as big as it looks now but it will be a new landmark in Stockholm it will be a new architectural accent and I'm really looking forward to see it um, done oh, I love this place actually because you can see the entire city you see the towers over there, that's the amusement park. You see the TV tower, Kaknastunet, and the Hepsholmen, this island that you can see with a ship in front of it. Today it's the island with the museums, the modern art museum, the center for architecture and design, and the East Asia Museum are situated on that island. And there you see the city center, Östermalm, and the old town, of course. I'm really curious about what's going to be the name of this bridge because now the um, working title is the uh, Guldbrun, the Golden Bridge. Uh, some say it's going to be called the Golden Gate, Golden Late because it was very late. It was supposed to be here by January but only arrived in March. We'll see. Uh, Corona Bridge because it arrived <laughs> more or less at the same time as coronavirus did, though it left China way before the virus but we're definitely going to remember it as the bridge that arrived together with the pandemic actually it's really april weather today it's just the it's the 30th of march but in swedish we have this maybe maybe we also have it in english but in swedish we have this expression april weather the april weather it means that the weather cannot really decide am i still winter or am i already spring so it just changes very quickly like five minutes it's snow it's snowing do you see it's snowing it was full sun just five minutes ago this is april weather actually look it's not exactly snow you see it looks like 
the god decided to bake some cinnamon buns. Because in Sweden, when we bake the cinnamon buns, we usually have some um, kind of this kind of sugar on top. And <laughs> the snow today looks exactly like the sugar. Well, I think I'm gonna finish by saying that we are living through a very interesting historical moment, both pandemic-wise, we still don't know how it's gonna end, and also this extremely historical moment for Stockholm, this bridge, this construction, and you might be annoyed by it. Oh, come on, I came to Stockholm and it's all under construction. And worse, if you came to Stockholm by boat that docks here at Stadsgården, then you walk to the old town through the construction site and it looks kind of not very welcoming, but it has to be done. It, like it's full winter now, but it has to be done and it will be better than it was before. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish and I'm gonna go and hide somewhere because I really thought it, it was a sunny weather today and I have a, a dress. Um, I'm not very warmly dressed, so say goodbye to the bridge, bye-bye, I'm gonna keep you updated, please follow my Instagram and I have a Patreon, so it will really help me to continue in making films about Stockholm for you to be able to watch this city uh, when you're not here and you can uh, support me on Patreon, the link is below in the description box. Thanks a lot and see you later, alligator.